Stockport County created one of the stories of the FA Cup's first round, defeating League Two's Yeovil Town 3-1 away from home to reach the second round for the first time since 2009. Stockport have been in sharp decline. In 1998, they finished 8th in the championship and despite suffering a series of relegations, had won promotion back to League One as recently as 2008. Unfortunately, before the beginning of the 2009-10 season, owing to a failure to service debts and meet tax obligations, the club was placed into administration, forcing the departure of several key players and the redundancy of manager Jim Gannon. Unsurprisingly, Stockport would lose 36 of 41 matches during the following campaign, finishing bottom of League One. But there was worse to come. The club officially exited administration in 2010, having been rescued by a consortium known as the 2015 Group, which consisted of local business people and fans. Nevertheless, the 2010-11 season brought a second successive relegation, and with it, Stockport lost their Football League status after 106 years. It was a period of bizarre decisions which deepened the fractures between the club and its fan base. Following Gannon's departure, the club employed five permanent managers in two and a half years, including a curious spell with Dietmar Hermann in charge, in which he won three of 19 matches. Gannon himself would return in November 2012 for a 14-month spell, which would end in dismissal in January 2013. The change didn't arrest the club's decline, though, and County would burn through a further manager in Dario Kalasic, who would last just two months, before finishing a season which would end with a further relegation under Ian Bogey. By 2013, County had fallen all the way down to the Conference North, the level at which they remain to this day. Stockport had bottomed out. Off the field, the root of their decline can be traced to the aftershocks of ITV Digital's collapse, but also, more specifically, to 2005. Then owner Brian Kennedy, a Scottish millionaire who also owned rugby union Sale Sharks, sold County to their supporters' trust for £1. Crucially though, that sale did not include Edgeley Park, Stockport's home and the club were thereby committed to paying £12,500 per month for the privilege of playing in their own ground. By 2009, with their hand forced by worsening finances, the training ground had also been sold, leaving Stockport to prepare for matches at a local sports centre. More importantly, it left the club without proper infrastructure or any real assets. The Haman episode encapsulated the dysfunction. The former Liverpool midfielder had been installed at the urging of a consortium hoping to complete a takeover, However, it stalled and failed, leaving the German without adequate backing and leading to his resignation because of what he described as broken promises. While a recovery should have begun in 2010, visible signs of organisational clarity didn't really emerge until 2015, with the publication of the Moving Forward document. By March of that year, many of the directors associated with the 2015 group had become inactive and, with a few notable exceptions, had agreed to write off debts owed to them by the club. By March of that year, County were under the control of a small group of five directors, including current chairman Richard Park. The aims stated within moving forward were ambitious but clear. By 2020, Stockport County hoped to turn the club into a sustainable and profitable organisation, use healthy living and leadership initiatives to engage with 80,000 local school and college students, to have generated £1.5 million in commercial income, and to have returned to the Football League. Even prior to 2015, the improvements were possible to track. From making annual losses of around £800,000 in 2012, by the time of the document's publication, that figure had been reduced to under £100,000. In fact, when financial results for 2016-17 were announced, Stockport were actually able to show a profit. In a club statement of the time, the county directors cited increased ticket sales, commercial revenue and success on the pitch as being behind that improvement. The biggest challenge remains Edgeley Park, the reacquisition of which was a further aim. With the ground threatened by demolition in 2015, Stockport Council agreed to a £2 million purchase. While promising no financial support to the club and still seeking a competitive lease, it has at least guaranteed that County will remain in their traditional home for the foreseeable future, albeit at a considerable monthly cost. This relative infrastructural stability is incubating improvement on the field. Having finished 8th in National League North in 2017, the club finished 5th in the table last season, losing to Chorley in the playoffs. This year, Barnet ultimately put pay to their FA Cup ambitions, defeating them 1-0 in December, but Jim Gannon, who returned for a third spell in charge in 2016, currently has the side 2nd in the table and contending for promotion. The Football League may not quite be in reach yet, and a return to fully professional status will prove another challenge. 
but having seen the club meet public targets over the past few years, Stockport County supporters do finally have reason to believe in their future.